we're trying to engineer a low emissions, low carbon emissions concrete using reactive magnesium minerals instead of the traditional Portland cement. The ultimate goal here is to try to help the construction industry start to approach uh, lower carbon emissions or even zero carbon emissions. Uh, standard concrete, which is produced using Portland cement, produces on the order of 5 to 10% of CO2 emissions worldwide every year. So you mine the original raw material, which is calcium carbonate, and then you heat that up. Uh, it off-gasses a bunch of CO2, and then you're left with calcium oxide, which is your, your Portland cement that is the binder that holds the concrete together. The reactive magnesium cement reacts with CO2 and sequesters it in mineral form within the concrete. So that's a different process to the Portland cement. First of all, it's good because it's sequestering CO2 in a solid form. And you have to heat up the initial raw starting material to a lower temperature, and that makes it easier to use things like renewable energy to do that, that primary heating process. And then when the magnesium oxide material is binding and curing in the concrete, it's actually consuming CO2 during that process. We've seen a lot of really promising things, but we also have identified some uh, issues that we need to overcome as well. We have achieved pretty high strength, compressive strength. We think we understand a lot about the curing process and how the CO2 needs to transport throughout the concrete. Um, and we're also starting to understand the types of minerals that are forming in the concrete and get a better understanding of whether or not those will be stable um, under different environmental conditions. So we're using uh, x-ray CT scanning, which is very similar to a medical CT scan that you might do on a human. Um, it's just that the geometry of the x-ray source and the x-ray detector are slightly different, and we're looking at samples which are much smaller. The resolution is much better for our micro CT scanning. Um, we're able to get voxel size, so that's a pixel size, down to um, on the order of a micron. We've identified that there are problems getting the CO2 to transport all the way throughout the concrete. And so we're looking at alternative ways to deliver CO2 using carbonated water, uh, maybe using nanobubbles of CO2, um, and also different mixing protocols and um, curing protocols as well. It was really fun, actually, to go buy a cement mixer and mix up really large batches of concrete. I never thought I would be doing that. So I think there's a lot of interesting science in it. I'm really interested in these transport problems and flow of CO2 through porous materials, but I think the thing that's most exciting is um, the idea that we could potentially actually make a contribution to lowering emissions of this giant industry in Australia and elsewhere in the world.